guys this is the paper uh, of 2023 uh, it's a specimen paper and uh, for the examination from 2023 onwards okay so here this is a paper uh, three where uh, we have the topics two topics we have one is the spreadsheets and other one is web authoring okay this is a specimen paper fine uh, it is for the examination from next year onwards from 2023 onwards this will be the pattern uh, from next year onwards fine now let's do that first we will try uh, spreadsheets after that web authoring let's go to the topic here is the task 3 and task 1 is about the uh, evidence I guess I'm sh uh, sure about it yeah so create a new word process document we ourselves have to create all the time to see this uh, but into paper 2 they give the, uh, the created a file document file uh, for the evidence but here they are telling us to create by ourselves uh, let's do that first here just we'll take one word document fresh document and we will add our name center number candidate number in the header okay i'm going to add it in the header and we have to save that a uh, document uh, with the name spec evidence followed by our candidate number so it has to be like this now let's do that first open a uh, word document okay so this is the one now what we are supposed to do we have to go to insert uh, header and uh, blank column 3 now let's type in our name okay and uh, your center number just a fake number and uh, center one two three or something it's up to you uh, what you write it's uh, just fake numbers for now and this is the candidate number it's up to you even what you type in as well this is not only the one you uh, are supposed to type in it's any pattern you can type in okay just click outside this is done and we are going to save this file document with the uh, name what is a spec evidence uh, you see the spelling that sorry uh, spelling uh, here spec evidence then the candidate number okay my mouse is giving a lot of trouble okay fine file save as uh, we're going to save it in the uh, 2023 here. Here I'm going to save as a name uh, spec evidence then uh, my candidate number. And uh, make sure you are saving it as a Word document. Yeah, this is anyway. I, I opened a Word document, so definitely it will be Word document only. Okay, fine. Yeah, now this let's minimize it. Let's go to the uh, task two. No, it's task three. All about the spreadsheets you are going to prepare an invoice using a spreadsheet for tavara digital storage okay it's all about the uh, invoice preparation 
uh, invoice invoice we're gonna prepare of Urtavara digital storage this company makes and sells storage devices all prices are in euros uh -oh. sick my mouse issues okay uh, all about the storage devices all prices are in euros this is first point we have to, uh, to keep in mind we have to consider uh, which must be displayed to two decimal places this is another point we have to uh, to consider uh, throughout this paper but make sure that you use efficient formulae definitely we are going to use efficient formally to get the perfect uh, outputs okay this has been understood clear now uh, step 8 open the examine the files spec invoice and spec SSD in a spreadsheet package fine save this as a spreadsheet with the file name invoice and followed by your center number and then candidate number first let's open these two files and let's examine what are the contents in that okay for that we have to go to our folder uh two invoice and ssd right okay uh where is invoice this one select right click open with excel and ssd as well select right click open with excel both of them i open at once this is the SSD. Okay, fine. See, uh, all about the models. Mo models are there. Capacity, unit price, and the code of every product. Okay, fine. So there are four. Uh, co the columns are there with all the details. This one. And another one I have the invoice. Nothing much in this. I guess we are going to edit this. Okay. Okay, fine. This is another uh, file. Now, let me just get more instructions on this. Uh, save invoice as a spreadsheet with a file name invoice. Okay, the, the, one, the one we are going to edit that I have to save. Uh, with the invoice starting then I have to uh, add my center number then candidate number this one we are gonna uh, save go to save as save in this in your folder now uh, here was that invoice underscore center number underscore uh, candidate number and save as a excel uh, spreadsheet or what is that workbook fine excel workbook save perfect now let's move to the next question this part is done for me mod cells a1 to f1 here what is given over here through the pictures they are showing us uh, mod cells a1 to f1 form at the top of the uh, spreadsheet to look like this okay uh, a1 to f1 and uh, what is the what is the font of it and what is the size of it yeah uh, we will select by ourselves let's see a similar one will go for uh a1 to f1 this is a one home merge and center then i'll increase the size of it something like this yeah a bold no need of bold uh but more okay fine and anything Yeah, exactly. That's it. That's it. Only that much. Okay, fine. Save every change 
and let's move on with the next question step 9 place your name center number candidate number left line aligned in the footer okay let's go to the footer of this file uh, view page layout and go to the bottom this is the footer and it is left aligned is here this is left is it left left okay all our details we have to enter uh, you can write in capitals uh, however you want name center number candidate number okay even you can add a, a bit font increasing font or uh, something font size here uh, that's it you can make it bold as well if you want okay done just click outside save now let's get back to the normal uh, view view uh, is it there anything more in the footer or header that's it okay just view normal fine this is done now ninth is done by me uh, step 10 place functions in cells or oh, here onwards we are gonna uh, type in the functions and we have to be very careful in understanding all this uh, here are the functions from C9 to uh, C9 to E9 what are the functions looking up functions means look up functions all we're going to enter to to get the model capacity and unit price okay this three and for each item using the product code uh, for the lookup value so as you know vlookup or hlookup always contains the first argument as the lookup value right based on what we are matching and getting other details uh, from uh, any array a table array so we need a lookup value matching with a matching value so that is what here we are taking product code product code is our lookup value okay one uh, argument we got yeah in our uh, lookup function and the external file is spec ssd the one we uh, we examined before um, starting all this right for the table so this is the second one also we got second argument in lookup value is the table array and third one is where we are finding the index of the column then uh, the uh, exact match either zero or false we can take so that is a whole uh, syntax of lookup fine so let's do that from C9 to E9. C9 to E9 we are going to do hmm? all this. And yeah, this is the important one. Very, very important. This we didn't get before. What's that? Make sure that if no data is entered in the product code column. See, product code is the one we are looking up for the value in the other table. Fine. But in case you don't have any lookup value always it gives error to us earlier it used to give error to us but they're clearly mentioning that it's n slash a it comes yes if there is uh, no value entered uh, so then nothing is displayed in cells c9 to e9 yeah this i will show you uh, practically how it's uh, changing without if condition and with if condition both now let's start now I have to type in where C9 first of all and lookup value is product code and table arrays spec SSD okay done now C9 here equal to if if it is not entered so here itself there is a condition fine so we, will, we have a, a function if open bracket uh, if product code is has nothing so let's take the product code cell select is equal to nothing how to mention nothing like this to uh, double quotes a pair of double quotes so this is the criteria 
now first uh, part is true part all the time second part is false part so if this is true what should be keep empty fine next another comma after this another comma goes false part of the criteria where we will look for the value so here we sorry we look up open bracket now what are we looking for we are looking for the model we are looking for the model so now first of all you see the syntax of lookup syntax at the bottom you can see lookup value this is the lookup value comma now table array for it i have to go to another uh file uh -oh. sorry mine gone I'll just cancel this fully. I'll just go and enter the value here. Uh, SSD one. Save. Okay, now let me get back. Sorry. Here, uh, equal to if this one is equal to empty. First value is keep it empty. Now we look up open bracket now uh, look up value is a9 comma now I'll go to uh, the array from here to here you see their model is in the last column model is last column the fourth column it is so all the values all the whole data have to select from second uh, row because values started from second row all I have to select suppose if my value is found in this in the second column or the third column I would have selected only that much but model is in the last column so I have to select all the columns and all the data okay tell 106 okay now one two three four column index value is how much Column index number is 4, comma for exact match 0. First closing is for VLOOKUP and second closing is for IF. Press ENTER. See there, though I don't have any value under product code, I referenced to A9, but I'm not getting any error. I'm not getting any error. Fine. If I enter any value, suppose SSD1. See, I'm getting the value. Model is this Samsung something something. Fine. This is effect of using if. If I delete this, delete this. See, it's not giving an error. Now, what I do, I'll remove this. I'll remove if totally. Okay, and last bracket also I'll trim. Fine. See there, it's giving me error because there is no value in the product code A9. Okay, this shouldn't be there. That's what in the question they ask you to uh, to just keep a condition in the function in case of no value as a product code, nothing should be displayed. Okay, now when I enter under product code, then only it will display the value for me. See that SSD one. Look at that. Hope it's clear to you, right? Okay, now let me just go back and change back to my if condition. Uh oh, here add if if a9 is equal to uh, empty keep it empty else follow look up and here single value we are taking it's not referencing one more thing we have to get here it's not referencing here okay so we have to use an absolute uh, reference over here and closing is needed here okay done 
it's perfectly working see that now let's go for the second um, part of the question here uh, C9 to E9 that means D9 will come in between let's see D9 what is in D9 its capacity we have to find capacity is here fine so we will follow the same what we followed for the model okay exactly if condition then look up but only we have to take what the capacity in which column the column index number that will pick rest everything is same rest everything is same now let's do it fast equal to if open bracket uh, pro code, product code is the lookup value comma sorry uh, equal to empty if it's equal to empty this is the criteria uh, keep the uh, the cell empty else look up for the answer open bracket now a9 is the lookup value for me then let's go to ssd file select all now what i want capacity is here you see there are capacities here so i will select till only three columns i don't need a model because i i already did it and it's out of my range so i won't go for it fine this is enough then comma then what is the column index number column index number is one two three okay let's take three there uh, then zero is for exact match two closings are needed means two brackets you have to close for one is for we look up and another one is for if condition enter see we are not getting any error though we don't have any product code in a9 and also we have to change to absolute, uh, absolute reference only in the beginning okay now let's go for the second one save uh, you did price as well in the same way let's go for it equal to if open bracket if a9 is equal to empty leave the cell empty else else we look up open bracket a9 comma table array go to table array now i need unit price only two columns are needed this code is always needed and unit price is here i don't go for the rest all it's none of uh, use for me okay now here comma uh, what is the column index number two in the second column i'm getting the answer zero from second column i'm accessing the answer see um because i'm looking for unit price that is the second column now press enter perfect i'm not getting any error that is due to if condition now all i did just save save once twice now let's come over here all i did of 10. now step 11 place in cell f9 a formula to multiply the number of items by the unit price again we have to go for the same see in number of items i don't have it's empty number of items you see there see there it's totally empty again i'm going to get uh, error if i don't use if first i'll show you without using if later i'll show you with if okay now what all details we are take number of items by unit price now let's come here in f9 equal to okay what are number of items this into uh, unit price done press enter see there hope you know what is the reason for this now now you're perfect right yeah why i'm getting this error now you will solve this 
How are you going to solve this? How are you going to solve this? Let's do it. I, I guess you know, you know, right? So it is that we have to use if one. Now let's how to add if there as per the syntax. Yes, let's come over here to the formula bar. Now let me start if open bracket. Which ones have to take? Which one have to take this one? Any one you can take either in price or number of items. So since number of items is the one uh, value because you need price anywhere we are going to get. Okay, if this B9, B9, I'll select B9 is equal to MT, comma, keep it empty. Don't give any error. It means that else multiply. This is a false part. Commas you have to separate it with. Okay, now let's see. Uh oh, I spoiled it. Now, just let me close this. Okay, I'm going to close this. Close the bracket. Press enter. See, no error, though there are, there are no values in this. Now you're perfect in using if. First part is always true and second part is always false part. As per the syntax of if. First criteria, then uh, after comma, then true part, comma, false part. Okay, this is done. Now, whilst see you. That is what we are perfect now. Replicate the formula entered in, in steps 10 and 11 for rows 10 to 19. Fine. So 10 and 11. What what we entered in 10 and 11? This all. And uh, to go down to rows how many? From 10 to 19. And uh, here I have to use a, an absolute because you are you're gonna replicate it. It'll take a as a, a relative reference. So because every value is different, right? Every power code is different. Every number of items are different. So you should not uh, take that same. So we'll we'll what we'll do? We'll use the uh, uh, dollar sign for an absolute reference. Now, let's replicate from here from 10 to 19. Look at this here. I'm using till 19. This also till 19. You have to go good, and this also you have to go till 19. Oh, there is a total at the bottom. Okay, now here also I have to go for till 19. Wonderful. Save. And let's go to the question. This is done. Uh, place in cell F21 a function to calculate the total of the price column. Totaling. Just the totaling in F21. Where is that F21? This is F21. And they said again, did they say anything that if anything is not displayed or something like that? Because we have to continue uh, following that if condition of having no value. Because uh, in the beginning, they already said. So expecting that if any value is empty. But in total link also, we have to follow the same. Okay. Let's follow the same thing in total link. Here, uh, equal to if open bracket, it's a totaling, right? It's a totaling. So, we already replicated the value as well. If F9 is empty, if F9 is equal to empty, because we replicated till the uh, till 19. So it will be added automatically. Uh, comma. It will be empty. The total will be empty. Comma. And we have to. The false part is. We have to uh, total them. We have to add them. 
okay even you can use a uh, summing or something like that okay comma no sorry uh, open bracket from way to where all of these you have to all of this from 9 to 19 from 9 to 19 okay close the bracket and close the bracket of if press enter see still we are not getting any errors though empty everything is empty with the cells save and let's go okay 30 is done apply appropriate formatting to all cells in rows 9 to 21 uh, which one what is the formatting we have to use euros as it is said in the more in the beginning uh, not in the morning okay it's uh, said in the beginning that they are into euros and to two decimal places look at that euros and two decimal places so let's add that you need price wherever you have the price and also the totaling right uh, here also we have to add hmm? okay now we have to go uh, home here we'll open where is that this is euros can you see that yours okay and uh, to two decimal places how many you can just open the, yeah it's there as a two decimal places fine save for all this now here also have to do even for the total price okay select that home uh, select euro and two decimal places it's uh, by default for me okay save uh, let's go down 14th is done print your spreadsheet showing the formula okay uh, it's in landscape row and column headings are displayed grid lines are displayed the contents of uh, all cells are fully visible oh, okay fine let's do the Okay, now shall we stop over here? I'll stop over here at the 14th and uh, uh, from 15th onwards, I'll take up in the second part.